So Abby is supposed to be punishing us because y'all bullied Caitlyn. She has other things that are more important to worry about. She should worry about something else. Why is she so quick to think you guys bullied Caitlyn? We've been with her for years, yet she isn't on our side. Which is why we need to stick together. We need to stand up to Abby. Since when did she care about bullying? Our kids are bullied by Abby every day. Okay, girls, before we get into Pyramid, I need to address what happened last week. Bullying isn't tolerated. What happened was terrible. She's new on the team and you decide to treat her like that? No more excuses. All of you owe her an apology. Sorry. 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 And just for that, no one will be getting a solo this week. You need to learn a lesson. At the bottom of the pyramid. Kenzie. I don't have to explain. You forgot the duet. This happened two times. Next on the pyramid, Caitlyn. You didn't kip up in time. You were supposed to rise into her arms. You also started falling behind in the number. Work on your time. Third on the pyramid. Maya. I've seen timing issues in your duet. Sometimes I felt like you were way behind. Don't think carrying the number was enough to get you on top this week. Second on the pyramid. Veronica. I think you did amazing in the group. Now on top of the pyramid? Anaya. I thought you did amazing in both the duet and the group, so congrats. I was helping the pyramid. I'm so happy. Now, this week we're going to intensity. Once again, no one will be getting a solo this week, since you guys wanted to pull me. However, for the group dance, it's a jazz piece called Quiet Clowns. Isn't that basically a mime? Well, I think this name is better. So, for the costumes, everyone will be wearing a face mask to hide their face. Now mothers, please exit. This week, the girls are doing a group called Quiet Clowns. There will be no lyrics in the song. Hopefully, this will help them practice their counts. This number is called Quiet Clowns. I want y'all to come out one by one. You guys are tumbling and standing by a mile. Abby's really not doing a solo this week? Yeah, because it's your fault. How is it my fault? Your kids bullied Caitlyn. The girls denied that. I don't think they have a reason to even bully her. Well, I'm glad Caitlyn spoke up. That was horrible. Redo that. I don't think you guys are in the right spots. Naya, come here. Caitlin here. You need to face the audience. Let's try it this way.
What is the problem? Caitlyn's doing it perfectly. Not really. She messed up that last bit. She was far out too and not facing the right way. That doesn't seem perfect to me. Ugh. I just want to get on Abby's good side. Well, Abby's favorite is Amaya. And you aren't being her favorite unless you do something huge for her. I'm trying to get on Abby's good side, so once I heard what Millie said, I knew exactly what I had to do to win Abby. So, Maddie, are you going to start speaking up? I couldn't believe Abby didn't take Amaya's side. Maya, keep up! Amaya's doing terrible. I don't like how Abby yells at me. We are going to work on the number tomorrow. Amaya, I want you here early tomorrow morning. I don't want you being off sync. We're going to work on it. Maybe the song having no lyrics is throwing you off. I'm only entering this group and I have faith we are going to lose. So I came up with a conclusion that I need to do something about this. Abby says she wants Amaya here early in the morning. Is it too late? You know, this is the perfect time for you to speak up to Abby. I'll do it in the morning. I don't want the girls to see it. Are you really? Yeah, I'm sick of Abby screaming at her. She relied on Amaya for years. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to confront Abby and tell her how I feel. I'm sick of her treating my kids this way. Kenzie, you stay here. Me and Maya are going to talk to Abby. Okay, so I lied about you doing a bad job in group rehearsals. So, why are we here? Well, I want Amaya to do a secret solo. It's last minute, but I can trust her to learn it quick enough and win. I think she would love to. Well... She can't tell any of the girls or their mothers. So, Maya, do you really want to do this? Um, I really don't know. I think it would be wrong if I didn't tell my friend. Maya, do you want to do this? You could get a solo and win. You know you love doing solos, and who cares what they think? Abby picked you for a reason. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Alright, let's head to the studio. I'm so happy Abby offered Amaya a secret solo. I know she's going to win. This dance is called Invincible. It's a contemporary piece that I made just for you. This is your solo, and no one will ever be able to do it better. Now let's start from the top. This week, Amaya has a secret solo called Invincible. The other moms don't know about this, nor do the dancers. Hi, Abby. We need to talk about something. Can you see I'm busy? Well, it's about a surprise gift. So, Caitlin actually decided on this gift, not me, but she is getting you a personal massage next week. It was all Caitlin's idea. She said you're her favorite teacher and she adores you. Is it going to be in the dark, like with candles all around? Yep. It's made just for you by Caitlin. Okay, that was amazing. Remember, you can't tell anyone. So Lily offers me a present that Caitlin got me, and I think I might have a new favorite. So, Maddie, did she talk to Abby? Yep. Mm, I told her how I felt. She she just accepted it. She didn't try and bite your head? Nope, she was quiet. That doesn't seem like her. You seem scared. Scared for what? Um, I'm not scared. 
what? Lily was there. She could vote me. I personally don't know what Maddie's talking about. I came in early because Caitlin was eager for class today. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. None of you do. It feels like once again, I'm being blamed. What happened to stick together? I raised my voice, and this is what I'm getting in return? What are you talking about? You know what? I'm going to apologize to Abby and take back what I said. She always walks out. I think she lied about talking to her. Okay, I didn't want to say anything about the solo because I want the girls and everyone to see what a snake she is. How could you lie to your own friend? Okay, I think the practice I had with you worked well, Maya. I think this may be able to please first. The moms are never supportive of anything. It's annoying how they never take my side and how I'm always the joke. Okay, we need to prepare for the group. Remember, you are quiet clowns. I don't like how they lie to everyone. Why doesn't Amaya have her costume on? Isn't it obvious? It is, but why didn't you tell us, Maddie? I didn't know myself. I'm just figuring out. You're lying. No, I'm not. I would never lie to the girls. Lily told us that when she was there, Amaya was getting a private lesson. So you're telling me our girls got punished, but Amaya didn't? I'm gonna ask you again. Why did you lie? Lily is a liar. You're the liar. At least I'm not trying to buy gifts for Abby. You know what? I don't care. My daughter has a solo. I don't care. Mom, why does she have a solo but I don't? Because Abby favors Amaya over you. Me and I were on top of the pyramid. Exactly. It's unfair. It's rude. It's plain nasty. <laughs> You're disgusting, Abby. I think it's weird she gave Amaya a solo. She said the other girls were punished. Turns out she only meant Anaya and Veronica. It's getting so frustrating being here. How do you feel taking a solo from two kids who were on top this week? I don't want to. They forced me. I'm sorry. You and your mom are disgusting. Taking opportunities from Nia and Veronica, you're not sorry. You're a poor excuse of a dancer. This little girl right here, she's a liar. Go. You wouldn't have did this solo. Get out of her face. Bye. I don't care. I don't think Abby should yell at Maya like that. There's nothing that we could do. Abby is always unfair. Abby, you're a terrible teacher, always giving stuff to Maya. And never to the other girls who are ten times harder. If you looked over your five chins and actually looked, you would have seen that Veronica and I have more talent in their funny bone than Amaya has in one toe. Maddie, she is never going to care. She needs to. We pay you to teach our daughters, yet you do a terrible job at it. You're a sucky dance teacher and an even worse person. Okay, girls, I'm gonna watch this solo. This week, I assigned the secret solo and a group. I have hope that both numbers can win. First up, we have MDA soloist. This is Invincible. I am not unbeatable, I am not unbreakable 
After what happened, I didn't want to see Amaya solo. Okay, girls, it's time for group. Amaya, I think you did amazing with your solo. Now, don't let that fight distract y'all. Let's go. The girls are about to complete the group, and I hope this huge blowout doesn't mess the performance up. Please welcome MDA's group performance, Quiet Clown. was amazing and Caitlin did so good. In second place, entry number 33, Silent. And in first place, we have entry number 42, Invincible. So Amaya got first, maybe the moms will be happy. Time for group awards in third place. Entry number 68, looking for home. In first place. MBA, this is Quiet Clown. And we got a big win, both first of the season. I don't know if Amaya is really my friend anymore. She's not your friend. A friend wouldn't do that to you. I like to be with Monica's friend, but they don't want me to be their, her friend. Congrats on the wins. The group needed a lot of work, but at least we won. Clap for yourself. Anyways, next week we're actually leaving the state and practicing in our rental studio. Because you guys are booked for something special. That also means we may run into a lot of tough competition. So I need everyone to practice, practice, practice. I wonder what Abby is talking about. I hope Caitlin gets the solo. Abby's talking about a special job. Last time Naya had got the first job, so I am excited for the next one.